The new Pinehurst map DLC is out right now, and the spotlight is on Roy Burns, otherwise known as the fake Jason. But why did he dress up as Jason Voorhees during his killing spree? Let's get into it. We already know what Roy Burns' motive was during the copycat murders. His son Joey was brutally murdered by fellow Pinehurst patient Victor Phaeton. The death of his son set in motion Roy's madness, and that's what drove him into a killing spree. But why dress up as Jason? Was he possessed by the spirit of Jason Voorhees? Nah, he was definitely not possessed by Jason. <laughs> We're not in Jason Goes to Hell. The idea of Jason Voorhees taking possession of anybody is just silly. This is something only New Line Studios would do, and they did. Remember, this is Paramount Pictures, and around this time, they actually had good people behind this franchise. The killings of Pinehurst is the proof that Roy knew exactly what he was doing. He blamed Pinehurst for the death of his son Joey, and a guy like Victor should never have been at Pinehurst in the first place. How a maniac like that got approved to stay at Pinehurst is exactly why Roy wants to shut it down. By the way, does Roy Burns' motive sound familiar? It should be, because it's the same motive that Pamela Voorhees had during her killing spree at Camp Crystal Lake. Pamela Voorhees blamed Camp Crystal Lake for what she thought was the death of her son. She tried everything she can to shut that place down. This is exactly what Roy wants to do to Pinehurst. Even though Jason Voorhees was finally killed in Part 4, his legend had lived on not only in Crystal Lake, but at nearby cities. Some people believe Jason Voorhees was still alive. This is where Roy cleverly used that urban legend to his advantage. Roy Burns made sure not just to target the people of Pinehurst, he killed areas around Pinehurst, like the diner, the trailer park, or a neighboring farm. This is to cover his tracks, make it look like the Jason is still out there. Even Sheriff Cal Tucker suspected that Jason Voorhees was behind the string of murders. Roy's plan was working. This is why he dressed up as Jason. Remember at the end of part 5, the discovery of what's inside Roy's wallet? That would pretty much debunk any Jason possession theory. The newspaper articles and a picture of Joey would indicate that Roy knew exactly what he was doing. There's also another reason why Roy might have dressed up as Jason. To frame Tommy Jarvis as the killer. Since Roy Burns worked as a paramedic, he might have had access to Tommy Jarvis's medical files. With that knowledge, he would know that Tommy has an obsession with Jason Voorhees. This might have led to the idea of Roy pretending to be Jason. Roy's main goal was to kill everybody at Pinehurst, including Tommy, then dump the Jason costume on Tommy, and then leave the scene. With Tommy's background, it would have been easy to frame him, dead or alive. Either way, take your pick, but that's why Roy Burns dressed up as Jason Voorhees. Roy had a plan, and at the end, his goal was accomplished. Pinehurst Youth Development Center was closed down, until this day has never reopened. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like, comment down below, but don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Yeah.